Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear student. I do hope you will be very safe and sound at home and enjoying your virtual uh, learning system in Pakistan International School, Taya. I welcome you all. This is grade 2. Today our topic of grammar is Rehan's pencil box. Open your book. Page number 72. Page number 72. Let's get started. I am in pencil box. I am blue and made of plastic. I belong to a little boy called Rehan. He takes great care of me. Rehan puts my friends. Rehan puts my friends inside me. My friends are his pencils, eraser and little ruler. We often talk to each other when we are in Rehan's school bags. This is Rehan's pencil box. There are a lot of things. If you have your own pencil box, you have got a lot of things. Eraser, <coughs> pencil, sharpener, scale, number of other things and they are talking they are deadly thing but they uh, this box presents like this one it just seems to be house for them okay they are talking with each other they talk with each other one another and enjoy a lot look this one down Rehan's pencil box has told you something about itself write five sentences in which Rehan's uh, lunch box tells us uh, some things about itself. Do not number the sentence. Do not number the sentence in 1, 2, 3, 4. Don't write this one. Okay, let's get started. Start it. <coughs> there is Rehan's lunch box. Rehan's lunch box. This is Rehan's lunch box and here we write Rehan. Lunch box. This one. Rehan's lunch box. First one, I am in lunch box. Five sentences. I am a lunch box. I am blue and made of plastic. I am Rehan's mother puts very tasty lunch in me. Rehan's mother puts very tasty tasty lunch in me. She puts, it means the house mother puts very tasty, tasty lunch in me. As you know, as you bring your lunch boxes, there are a lot of different kind of things, edible things for you, and your mother's puts that ones in your lunch boxes. He cares of me. Yes, of me. He opens me in break time. He opens me in break time. Rehans 
he always keeps me clean keeps me clean that's all this is hans lunch box for two days our topic is chapter number 45 the hans lunch box like by this okay you have to write uh, uh, five lines without numbering this one don't number it means don't write number one two three that is short paragraph type okay dear student let's move another one next page i am a lunch box i am blue and made of plastic the hans mother's puts very tasty on to me he cares of me he opens me big time he always keeps me clean these are the five sentences that you have to write on your book grammar book on page 72 Sandy. Sandy. Sandy means have a great sleep. Okay, like this one. Very peacefully. In a very calm way. The doctor banged silently, loudly. The door. The door. Lovely. When a person is the door or close the door, very sharp like this one. That is lovely. Bent lovely. D. The little boy opened his 
present the little boy open his present happy sad There is a shouting term, that's why we have to use angry. Okay, dear student, the old man walked slowly this morning. Okay, uh, the baby slept soundly. The door banged loudly. And here the little boy opened his presents happily. Sarah did the work neatly. And last one, this one, the man shouted angrily. Next one, rewrite the following sentences. Write again. Rewrite me. Write again. Rewrite the following sentences using capital letters and full stop or question marks appear in the necessary. It means you have to use punctuation. You have to use in these uh, uh, sentences punctuation. I hope you understood this one. Next one. Test two, next one, punctuation. This is what is this? Punctuation. Punctuation means full stop, okay, comma, like this, then question mark, like this. Then colon, semicolon, brackets, number of things. Okay, but at seven you have to uh, understand only this one: full stop and question marks and the capital letters. Capital letter, right? Capital letters. These are some sort of punctuations: full stop, comma, question mark, right? Which means you have to start your <coughs> sentence with capital letters. Look this one. Naila opened her umbrella because it was raining. 
This is the answer. Answers. Look this one. Naila opened her umbrella because it was raining. Naila opened her umbrella Yeah. 
the bird has a nest in the tree the bird has a nest in the tree the bird has a nest nest his house in a tree the bird has a nest in the tree in the tree page number 74 what are you doing what are you doing question have you finished your work have you finished your work this is question mark Kaha will go to school today. This is broken down and mean start with capital letter Kaha will go to school today. Will go to school today. Our last one. Sapa and Neha are good friends. S capital Saba and Neha. This is N capital. Neha are good friends. Are good friends. This is punctuation. We have to this uh, question number two. Question number two answers only. A number seventy three. Okay. Wherever the every letter starts with capital letters, every sentence starts with capital letters, and see the sentence if it is uh, simple or full stop. If it is uh, istafamia, interrogative, question based, write uh, uh, put here question mark. Okay, I hope you understood this one. Next one. Question number. This is on page number seventy four and seventy five. Question number three. You have to use and. This one. use of and. I give you example first, then you. Would be able to understand it very well. Rabab picked up her phone. Rabab picked up her phone. Full stop. She went through her hair. She. Ran it through through her hair. This one. It is. These are two sentences. We have to write in one sentence by using here and. And look this one. Rabab picked up 
her own. This is the first sentence. Okay? From here, this side, when you complete your first sentence, okay, don't write full stop. Here we have to write and. And. At place of full stop. And she, then second sentence, rain, it, through, she ran through her hair. She ran through her hair. This is the twenty one. Okay, dear students, the bar picked up her comb and at place of full stop, when you finish the first sentence, here is uh, full stop, don't write full stop. Join that one with another sentence. Uh, write and. Right? And. This is the conjunction. And uh, she read it uh, through her hair. I hope you understand this one. I just write to answer. Look this one. Rabab. Picked up her comb. Picked up her comb and she ran through ran it through her hair. Ran it it means comb. She ran it through her hair. This one. Number two, Aslan opened the tin of biscuits. Aslan opened the tin of biscuits. The tin of biscuits. If you have put here uh, proper noun like a name, Aslam, Ali, Sa, you have to uh, uh, begin with that one, that word with capital letter. And if you have put uh, pronoun like he, she, it, okay, we, you, they, you have to write with this, start with the small letter. And he, and he began to eat them hungrily. And he began to to eat them hungrily. Number three, Bisma filled the watching can. Bisma filled filled the watching can. And, and and she began to water the young plants and she began to water water the young plants Number four, father went to the shop. Father went to the shop. And he bought some sweets. And he bought some sweets. This one. The last one, I have many dresses. They are all very pretty. I have many dresses. They and they 
four are they are old old very pretty beautiful this one here we have given ant here ant ant this one here and here okay dear student so we have to use this conjunction and okay our next one is like the following sentence using he she or they wherever possible to use pronoun Okay, 
and when we have got the two noun, we have to write the third person singular. What is the third person of singular? They. This one. They. They at place of above and this one. They were good friends. To be together because right here because because they this one because they were good friends number four Uma cried because Uma had Uma cried because she had lost her pencil bowl. She had lost her pencil bowl. Number five, last one, Sarah said that to Sarah, Sarah said that she, this one, she was going to the market, she was going to the market. Okay, dear student, to finish this one, uh, pronouns, look, uh, look this one, Myla said that she, don't write Myla there. Instead of uh, Myla, you have to write she. Okay, it's the third person singular. Asim's mother scolded him because he, here, he had broken glass at the bar and this one. Two noun comes, that's why we have to use they. Third person singular. One good friends. Uma cried because she had lost her pencil box. Sarah said that she was going to the market. She was going to the market. I hope you understood this one. Sir. It is very simple. Practice that one and then you will be able to command over it. Homework Write and learn Write and learn Page 72, 73 74 and last one 75 this is your homework on your grammar. Write and learn on your grammar. Okay, dear student, we finish this one, your grammar book, and inshallah, we will meet you again in next lectures. Till then, Allah Hafiz.